In this video I'm going to give you some information on intelligent orientation control, the IOC. Whenever you initialize the model and you take off, the model notes the heading and we're going to call that north. So right now the model would be facing north. If the model's facing north there, then this way it would be facing east. So now that we're oriented with the model, let's say that we are going to take off and we're going to go in course lock. And we're going to rotate, change the heading of the model, so let's move the model and head east. Well, if we push the stick forward, even though the model is now headed east, the model is still going to go north. If you move the stick forward, it's going north. If you pull the stick back, it's going to go south. If you pull the stick to the left, it's going to go west. And if you move the stick to the right, it's going to go east. Again, it doesn't matter which way the model's facing. Here you would be in a nose-in situation. And again, if you push the stick forward, the model's still going to go forward. So remember that with the course lock. Also, with course lock, as soon as you flip into course lock, the control change is immediate. If you go into home lock, which is the second option, um, in home lock, you have to remember that the orientation is just like it normally is via the model whenever you're 10 meters or closer to the point where you took off. So in other words, if we move out here 9 meters, then we move the stick forward, then the model is going to go forward. If we pull the stick back, it's going to go back. If we rotate 90 degrees and we move the stick forward, the model is going to go forward. It's still going to maintain its orientation. However, if you get outside of, or thereabouts, 10 meters, now all of a sudden the orientation is going to change with the model. And what I mean by that is going to be as if you take the transmitter and you go and stand where it took off from. Wherever that point is, uh, the model is always going to come back to that point if you move the stick back. So in other words, let's say we fly out this way and let's say we are a hundred meters from where we started. Uh, we probably won't ever fly out that far but we can all assume that at a hundred meters it would be very difficult to tell which way the model would be oriented. In that scenario, let's assume that the model is oriented this way. So forward is that way and to the back is this way and this would be left and that would be right. Well if we move the stick straight back instead of the model moving back like we might expect because we're in home lock the model is actually going to move sideways and come back to the home position. Now again you have to remember as soon as you get within 10 meters of the home position now the model changes and goes out of home lock and you're back in normal mode. So in other words, as you get close to the home position, then the, the control um, is changed back to normal flight mode being forward, this being back, right and left are the same. So with those two scenarios, I believe you've got enough information that whenever you flip the switch, you can pretty much know what to expect. I'm gonna go outside of 10 meters. Okay. 10 meters. Again, forward is forward, back is back, right is right, left is left. Now, we're going to go into course lock. So if I move it, it's shifted into course lock. Forward is forward, back is back, left is left, right is right. Whenever I turn it, now I've turned, and if I push the stick forward, it's still going down the runway, even though I've just turned 45 degrees. Pull the stick back, it comes back to me. Left input, it goes forward. Right input, it goes backwards. Now I'm going to go into home lock. Actually, before I go into home lock, if I push, pull the stick straight back, straight back, it's going back over that direction. If I go into home lock, when I pull the stick straight back, it's going to come to home. So that's the advantage of home lock, is if you can 
always get it back home, no matter where it's at. I have started night flying with the quad, and it's actually pretty entertaining. Uh, I've also done some practicing where, if I did become disoriented, I'm able to flip into home lock and bring the model back and get it close enough that I can flip out a home lock and, and continue flying after being reoriented with the model. So here's a couple of pictures, actually four pictures showing the each individual side of the quad and the way I did the lights. Okay, so it's down, halfway, down, halfway, down, halfway, down, all the way, up. Go. One more time. Down, all the way, halfway, down, halfway, down, halfway, down, and all the way up. 